Okay guys, uh, today's going to be a bit special, um, we're going to do something completely different um, in Visual Basics, this is uh, databases. Now databases are incredibly useful in VB programming because uh, about 80% of programs use them and it allows you to store data somewhere off of the program, so um, if you need to restart the program you've got the information saved there. I think, uh, you know, uh, databases are obviously quite useful, you can have uh, information on companies and stuff like that, but it also helps you with uh, login programs and generally just they're a really useful thing to have about. So, let's go through uh, how you connect your database. Um, what you're going to need to do is put, we'll go with three text boxes, like that, and extend them all out. Right. Um, then we're going to want to go to data at the top and new data source. Uh, make sure database is selected and click next. Right, this is where uh, we're going to need to make sure you've got, got everything. So you're going to need to go into start, my computer, select the C drive, um, and wherever you install your programs, I put mine all in program files, and we're going to need Microsoft. SQL Server Compact Edition. Now, if you don't have this, I'll post a link in the bar. I'm pretty sure it comes with um, um, Visual Basis as it is, but just in case, I'll post it anyway. And you're going to want the Northwind um, database. should be there. Like I say, if it's not there, I'll uh, I'll send you a link. So that, we're going to want to click New Connections. Uh, make sure it's SQL Server Compact. There are different ones under the changes, but you're going to want SQL Server at the moment. Click uh, Browse and connect to Northwind. Okay. When that's run through, um, it should say at the top, we're going to connect to Northwind, click next, yes. Um, when this has gone through, uh, here we go, uh, this is just saying what the variable is going to be named, so we have Northwind connecting string, that's fine. And here is going to retrieve all the information that is in the database, and I want you to click on the categories button, and deselect all but pictures. So we've got one, two, three there and click finish. Now, um, we'll be able to now connect to this data source which will be uh, down here when it finishes running through. Here we go. Do do. Here we go. Right. There we go. Right. So now uh, all our databases can be seen here in the data source at the bottom. Um, and here are all the different categories. So we can now click category ID in there. Uh, category name. I'm just dragging over into the text boxes and description in there. And what it's done is added connections, uh, the binding source, uh, category table adapter, and category table manager. And one more I want to put in from here is binding navigator on the top. And this just adds controls to go through the database. So we can now click the start button, and this will pop up with any luck. <laughs> here we go. And uh, now we've got all the information from the database. Okay, so we can stop that now. Um, that's useful. However, I think the best way to display raw data like this is to just drag the whole thing over and you open up the grid view. Like that. Okay, and this is when this bar comes into play at the top because we can press play. And what it will do is display all the information in that table. Okay, so there we go. Um, that was just a very quick tutorial introducing you to um, really, yeah, really just introducing you to um, databases. I'll do a few more on how to edit and save and stuff like that. But uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, check out my blog. And any information will be in the right hand. Corner.